working. It's not leaking underneath. It's coming down real slow. Yep, it's slow going, but it is definitely coming down. It's coming out the right way. So, just a trickle, but that's okay. It's going right into the tank. Right on. Hey, everybody, Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you, with Judy, laying down in the background. I got a fire going. I've got my lovely, lovely blanket that the lovely Miss Denise sent me. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got little, it's got little campers on it. And it says, Happy Camper. It's very warm. I love it. So it rained all night last night. I got to go out and see how much water I got. Oh, gosh, this is so exciting for me. It rained all night last night. And these were empty. That's full. Oh, I just, I had found those dishes out back somewhere. So I just put them down there to soak. <laughs> yeah, free dishwashing. So those are almost full. That one's almost full. This one has about the same as it did before. This one got a good bit more and so did this one, just passively. Awesome. But the big question is, how much did we get over here? Look, look you guys, look, look, look. It's up to there. It was all the way down to here. There was barely even an inch of water in there and it is already all the way up to there. Let me go see how much that is. Oh, the little gauge thingy is on the front. That's okay. Well, let's see. It's got that much, and this is a 300-gallon tank, so I'm guessing that that is probably about 90 gallons. I don't think it's quite 100 gallons. Maybe it might be. It looks like it could be a third. Look at all that water, you guys. Yeah, my little janky little water spout thingy held up. And it got me plenty, plenty, plenty of water. So what I need to do today is get the rest of this covered up with a garbage bag. So garbage bags. So all this doesn't start getting algae in it. I mean, there's going to be a little bit of algae in it, but that's not a big deal. Because like I said before, I'm not going to drink this stuff unless it's been filtered. First I'll filter it there, then bring it into the Berkey. But this will be just fine for watering plants, maybe even doing some washing. Um, I don't know. I think for dishes I'm still going to at least filter it with that. But gosh, look at all that water. And that was just in one night. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Uh, it's noon and I washed my hair this morning. I already had my coffee. Uh... I put some food out for the chickens and I'm going to go let them out for the first time. I hear one of them squawking in there, so maybe, maybe they've left me some eggs. Let's see if you can hear it. Oh, hello, beautiful chickens. Come on out, girls and boys. What y'all doing? They're all coming out. Well, not all of them. Almost all of them. Come on out, girls. Look at that cocoa. She's gotten so big. Look at all this. Oh, they totally dumped their water thing over. Let's see what happened today. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. They still have plenty of feed left. That's good. What's going on in here? Nothing. Anything in here? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I wanted to show you guys these berries I found while I was out walking around foraging for wild edibles. And I did a Google Lens search on it and they said the first suggestion was huckleberries. And I'm pretty sure you can eat them. I haven't done a whole lot of research. I haven't really looked into it yet, but what do you guys think? Are these huckleberries or are they a poisonous look-alike? I think 
like black blueberries or something. There's, there's another thing that has blueberries in it that is poisonous. So I don't know. These do kind of look like huckleberries though. And I would love to be able to do something with them. There isn't enough of them right now. And I'm sure that the birds will get them before I have a chance to go back and look at them. So if you guys know anything about these, you just let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Oh, looks like my hand is all better too. I mean, it didn't blister up except for that one. Whoops, getting focused. That one little part right right down there at the bottom. Um, otherwise, it, you can just kind of see the circle where, where it burnt. It's not hurting anymore. So I'll be back in action doing stuff. I can't. I still can't believe I did that. That is the most stupid thing I think I've ever done. What are you doing, girlfriend? I was trying to catch you chasing your tail, you silly dog. Go chase your tail. Go chase your tail. You're such a good girl. I love you so much. But you drive me crazy. Uh, I'm a little disappointed. No eggs, but you know what? There's not a lot of sunlight, and you know, they may be laying them out in the woods, although I've scoured everywhere. I've been looking everywhere for them, and I just haven't found any eggs. So, anyhow, yeah, look at the hair. After I wash it, it's so fuzzy, but it's shiny, but it's fuzzy. Anyhow, uh, yeah, I got to clean some surfaces off in that chicken coop. Those birds, those especially the barred rocks and the Asian blacks and, of course, Romeo, they are poop factories. So I got to scrub some things down. I don't know if I'll get it done today. It's freezing outside. Um, but still no odor inside that van. I'm surprised because they've been pooping a lot and there's no odor. It's just composting down the way it's supposed to. So it just smells like a very earthy, woody kind of a smell. So I'm very, very glad that seems to be working. <sighs> Anyhow, uh, it's cold today. I don't think I'm going to get anything else in particular done aside from maybe do some dishes and whatnot. And I don't think you want to watch me do that. It's kind of boring. So I just got a big pot of potato soup with half a can of that canned ham chopped up and put into it. Yum. It's boiling. About another 30 minutes and I'll add the last batch of potatoes in because I like some of the potatoes really soft and others kind of, you know, firmer. And I might even add some mashed potatoes in there to thicken it up because I don't think I'm going to add milk this time. I got my tea kettle on and it's ready to go for my Beijing spiced tea. I tell you what, this wood burning stove is fantastic. And added a little bit of chicken bouillon, some, I didn't add any salt because there's enough in the ham, a little pepper and um, some rosemary and some thyme for my garden. Uh, yeah, garlic, pepper, well, anyhow. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be delicious. I can't wait till it's done. And uh, it's a nice big pot so I'll be eating it off of eating off of it, you know, pretty much all day. Anyhow, you know what? I think that that is all for this video. Really, nothing else is going on. Um, I'm very, very pleased that I got all that water. I can't believe I got all of that water in just one night of rain. And it did rain pretty hard. It started raining later on and throughout the night. So I've got plenty, plenty of water. Um, I think what I'm going to do is take some of the water from those buckets and put them in the larger containers, especially the big black barrel because it's not going to fill as fast and uh, just kind of like combine everything and let the, the yucky stuff settle to the bottom. I might end up filtering some more water today. I don't know, but this is going to be a lazy day. It's going to be an indoor day and I'm I'm totally cool with that because I'm comfortable in here. And it's just so cozy, and it's just going to keep getting cozier and nicer. <sighs> Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.